biggest meeting of my life in 45 minutes. This isn't happening. Did you have something you wanted to do today? I got day one of my big break movie. You don't understand. If I don't make this meeting, I don't make part of it. I don't make part of the last 15 years of my life. Everything I've done, wasted. All right, you know what? Fine, I'll do it. I got it. I'll do it. I got you. Do what? I'm an actor, human chameleon. I can do lawyer my sleep. Give me oh, the keys. Oh, you'll play me in one of your productions. Yeah, give me okay. the keys. No. Why? Because you're... Careful. Because there's more to being a lawyer than what you see on TV, Mitch. Is there? Yeah. I object! Oh, my God. Okay. No! So. Wrong, my friend. You don't know the first thing about being a lawyer. But you're not a trained actor. Neither are you. Save it, all right, Dave? It's one day. We're Mitch and Dave. We can do one day of anything. Give me the keys. Let's go. Do you have a better plan? Okay, so this is a really, really funny movie. We enjoyed it a lot. Uh, one of the things that stood out to me was that the dialogue in this movie was really quick-witted, yeah. really fast, and you were able to tell a story about something real people could re relate to mm -hmm. that we've kind of all been yeah. through yeah. without it being too corny or yeah. cheeky. Yeah. And that, to me, was really unique. What oh, cool. is unique to you about this film? I love that, because I think the premise is really dead. You know what I mean? The idea of a body switching film, it's like nobody wants to go see that, but you had to make sure you did something that looked and felt and was an experience like its own original movie. And we had to make sure not to be corny, because the premise is kind of corny. You know uh -huh. what I mean? It's a PG idea, but yeah. look, I, again, I have to credit the writers. The script was hilarious. It was hands down. You're going to hear it from all the actors as well. Mm -hmm. It was the funniest script I've ever read. And the dialogue was incredible. And these two, you know, all the actors came in and plussed it and made it come alive um, and really took risks. And it's a movie that takes risks everywhere, which yeah. is why I think it keeps you on the edge of your seat, you know. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. Just on, on my way to see Dave. Actually, um, all the senior staff is going to be at the mediation tomorrow. Mm. So I snagged Fleming seats to the Marlins Braves game. Okay. You, me, beer, baseball. What more could a guy want? Oh, don't take this the wrong way. I would really love to go to that game with you, but I, I don't. Are you breaking up with me? What? I'm messing with you. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah. Look, it's just a baseball game. They're dugout seats. Whatever you have to do, cancel it. I read that you said this was one of the most fulfilling films that you've done in your career. Yeah. Why, why did you say that? Um, I think because we weren't searching for the movie every day on set, because we had a great script. We were able to go in and really just perform and watch these actors. And all of the actors were trying to do something that was different than what they've done before. So that's always exciting for a director because you're seeing people yeah push the limitations and the edges and the boundaries of what they're capable of. And, you know, that's the fun of it, is you want to feel like you're going to fall over the edge the mm -hmm. whole time. And now, when you guys are shooting, do yeah. you allow them to kind of improv and do their thing? Or do you kind of keep them based on, you know, what they're, what's there in the dialogue? There's a little bit of improv, but mostly the improv happens in rehearsal sessions. Um, when we're rehearsing the movie, we take the, the scenes apart and study them and play with them and then rebuild them, then a lot of that improv is actually what's being performed mm -hmm. in the movie. But again, like, it was a great script. The, 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 the dialogue was amazing in the script. Yeah, so. yeah. A lot of times as an audience member, when you see a movie, there's always, like, a beginning, a middle, end, and then, you know, the characters that you hopefully are attached to and care about. And if that doesn't happen, sometimes you don't know, per se, why you didn't like the film, mm. but something's missing. Yep. How do you as a director um, make sure that you have a, a beginning, a middle end, and that we stay attached to the characters? What are the kind of things you kind of do? You hope you cast really good actors. That's, that's I think, in that you're dealing with a story that is putting people through difficult experiences, because that's what, you know, storytelling is a character begins here and then changes and learns and mm -hmm. hopefully ends here. And, um, you know, you hope you're keeping a, a finger on the heartbeat of the movie as far as pushing those characters through it in an interesting way, at an interesting pace, um, and keeping your actors just vital and alive in those performances every single beat of the movie. And, um, you know, that's the most important thing. And you hope that, that the audience goes with them on that. You know, honestly, mm -hmm. if you love the character when you read it, and the actor that you bring in is someone that you love watching and you're compelled to watch, yeah. and they perform it well, 
it should work. I mean, that's that's as far as you can get to a formula of chemistry to make a movie work or a scene work, you know. Yeah. And I think both of the guys, you're watching them the whole movie going, wow, they're, I mean, they're just fantastic.